Today we're checking out the tap delay from Donna. This has three different modes, analog, digital, and reverse. So it has a tap tempo function over here. Let's see how it sounds. Welcome to the channel folks, my name's Shane. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and also click that little notification bell. Today we're checking out the tap delay pedal from Donna. Let's check it out. Here's the pedal up close. As you can see, we get three different modes, analog, digital, and reverse. Simple toggle switch here, nice and simple, and it clicks into place nice and firmly. We have three different controls at the top, level, feedback, and delay. This controls the mix, so the further up it is, the more of the actual delay you're gonna hear. The further this way it is, the drier the signal will be. We have a feedback control, the further you turn it this way, the more repeats you're gonna hear and the less repeats you're gonna hear if you have it the opposite way. Now this delay control is basically the same as the tap tempo, it controls the speed. So the further this way it is, the slower the effect's gonna be and the further this way it is, the faster it's gonna be. We have an on off button over here and the tap tempo button as well, which is really, really cool. Now it also has, you can see it says hold slash tail now, if you push this down and then you turn the effect on and off, you're still gonna hear the tail of the delay coming through even if you turn it off. So you have the option of either killing the delay or basically have it so it repeats its way until it finishes its normal cycle. On the back of the pedal, we have an in and out and a nine volt DC input over here. Interesting shape too, hey? It's a little bit different, pretty cool. A huge thanks to Donna for setting this out. I really appreciate it. If you wanna find out more about it, all links will be on the screen and in the description below. I'll also post some Amazon affiliate links down there also. Let's do it. All right, let's get into it. Today I'm playing my PRS SE. This is all stock into the Joyo Jackman Band Amp Amplifier. It's kind of hard to say. Now this amp's got an effects loop, so we're running the delay actually through the effects loop. There's no reverb or anything, so just the actual delay going into the back of the amp. This is the dirty tone to start with on Bridge Pickout. <laughs> All right, pedal on. This is kind of like what I would use it if I was playing live. Yeah, now if you want it a little bit faster, you can either use the delay control, left is fast or right is slow, or you can just tap tempo it. So if you want the slap back faster, nice and simple. Over to digital delay now, and the cool thing about digital delay over analog or vice versa is it comes back with a bit more of a pristine sort of sound. So here we go. Now if you want more, turn up the level. Let's give this a go. Now 
Now you can absolutely get more, turn up the feedback and it's gonna come back at you way more. Here we go. Over to the weird one that you heard in the intro clip, this is reverse delay and I've got it sort of set up at a relatively moderate repeat rate. So you can see the LED flashing, we'll try it at a different tempo in a sec. Let's go to neck pickup. There it goes. <laughs> now this, for whatever reason, this delay is a little more prominent in the mix than the other two at the same settings. It could just be inherent of its actual type of delay. This, this kind of reverse delay is a bit odd, but let's, um, let's speed it up a little bit. Let's slow it right down. It's bizarre, but there's a lot more musical people out there than me. So if you like that sound, you'll get into it. Over to some cleaner tones now. Let's try some analog delay for some chord stuff. And now for more of a slapback sound, let's go to both pickups. Now digital delay can also do the slapback sound, so all the settings are the same, except I sped up the tap tempo just to hear. Here we go. Now for maybe more of a familiar digital delay sound, here we go. Yeah. And lastly, back to reverse delay and this particular effect, I've got it set up so I can play a chord and it will kind of ring out and do some weird things, but in a really musical way. Something like this would be great for creating like ambient backing tracks. Have a listen. Now that's weird. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys, my name's Shane. Don't forget to subscribe and also click the bell if you made it this far. What do I think of this particular pedal? I think it sounds pretty good. I'm a huge fan of analog and digital delay. Reverse delay for my style of music isn't something that I would go for normally, but if you're into it, you've got that option as well. Having the tap tempo function is awesome. A lot of inexpensive pedals will have sometimes a tap tempo button built into the one and only button that's on the actual effect. So you sometimes have to hold things down and then start clicking. This makes it easy having two independent buttons 
It's pretty cool. I like, really like that idea. And I gotta say, musically speaking, the analog and digital delays sound fine. They're nice and quiet. There's no hiss or crackle or anything coming through the signal. Nothing that I could hear anyway. So I think that's pretty sweet. One thing to point out that you did see in the intro clip as well, and I think this is worth mentioning, the best way to switch between effects on the fly is to turn the pedal off, switch the toggle switch, and then turn it back on. I don't mean unplug it, I mean just use the actual button and then switch it that way. I find if you, if you leave it on and you switch between analog and digital, there's this weird sort of one note that comes through because the difference between analog and digital delay is quite different and it does sound a bit weird. So for me, I like to turn it off, switch, and then turn it back on. It's not a deal breaker by any means, but just be aware of that. It doesn't do it as smoothly as you might anticipate switching between all three effects if the effect is actually on at the time. A huge thanks to Donna for sending this out. I really like this pedal. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you soon. See ya.